Have you ever looked at a silver coin or a gold ring and wondered why it seems to shine endlessly year after year? Or maybe you've walked through a historical museum and noticed that some ancient metal artifacts, despite being thousands of years old, still gleam like they were made yesterday. It's a curious thing. We know most things age and wear out, but some metals, they just keep gleaming. So today, we're answering a deceptively simple question. Why do some metals stay shiny forever? It's a tale of chemistry, physics, and the unique personalities of the elements we find on the periodic table. Right here on History of Simple Things. When we say a metal is shiny, what we're really talking about is how it reflects light. Shiny metals have smooth, uniform surfaces that allow visible light to bounce off them cleanly, creating that brilliant mirror-like effect. On a microscopic level, this shine is tied to how metal atoms are arranged and how their electrons behave. Metals have what's called a sea of electrons a shared pool of electrons that flow freely throughout the structure. This gives metals not just electrical conductivity, but also their ability to reflect light uniformly. When light hits a metal surface, it excites these electrons, which then re-emit the energy as reflected light. That's the science behind the sparkle. But here's the thing. Most metals don't stay shiny forever. Over time, they react with substances in the environment. Oxygen, sulfur, moisture, even human skin oils. They all contribute to a process called tarnishing or corrosion. The metal reacts chemically with its surroundings, forming a dull or dark layer on the surface. Think of iron rusting or silver turning black. These reactions change the surface texture and chemistry, scattering light rather than reflecting it which is why the shine fades. So for a metal to stay shiny forever, it has to resist these chemical changes. That's where certain elite metals stand apart. Noble metals, a group of elements known for their remarkable resistance to corrosion and tarnishing. The term noble here doesn't mean aristocratic. It refers to their chemical nobility, their reluctance to react with other elements, the most famous noble metal is gold, followed closely by platinum, palladium, rhodium, and to a lesser extent, silver. What makes these metals so special is their extremely low reactivity. Gold, for example, doesn't combine easily with oxygen, sulfur, or other environmental agents. It doesn't rust. It doesn't tarnish. That's why a gold coin buried for a thousand years can still come out of the ground gleaming. Platinum and its cousins in the platinum group share similar traits. They resist oxidation and maintain their metallic luster over centuries. But the shine isn't just about resisting decay. It's also about structure. These metals naturally form surfaces that are smooth and dense at the atomic level. When you polish a piece of platinum or rhodium, you're creating a surface that's nearly perfect for reflecting light, almost like a mirror. That's why rhodium is often used to plate jewelry. Not only does it protect the base metal underneath, but it also provides a dazzling, durable finish that hardly ever fades. Now, you might be thinking, silver is shiny too, but mine always turns dark. And you're absolutely right. Silver is technically a noble metal, but it's the least noble of the group. It's much more reactive than gold or platinum. While it doesn't corrode in the traditional sense, like iron rusting, silver does tarnish easily when exposed to sulfur-containing compounds in the air, even in tiny amounts. This results in silver sulfide, the blackish coating that dulls the surface. However, the shine isn't actually gone. It's just hidden beneath that layer. A good polish can usually restore it, unlike rusted iron, which permanently loses its structural integrity and finish. So while silver can't stay shiny forever without help, it's still much better off than many other metals when it comes to longevity. 
Gold is often considered the king of metals, and for good reason. It's the most stable and unreactive of all metals found naturally on Earth. That shiny gold ring you inherited from your grandmother? It's not just a beautiful heirloom, it's also a testament to atomic stability. Pure gold doesn't oxidize, corrode, or tarnish under normal conditions. It stays radiant because its atomic structure resists environmental attacks. Even when exposed to air, water, acids, and time, gold just sits there, unbothered, unchanging. That's why ancient Egyptian tombs still contain gold artifacts that shine as if they were crafted yesterday. That's also why gold has been used historically as a symbol of immortality, divinity, and eternal value. While noble metals resist corrosion naturally, other metals use a trick called passivation to stay shiny. Take aluminum, for example. It's not a noble metal and it actually reacts quickly with oxygen. But instead of forming a flaky or destructive rust, aluminum forms a thin, invisible layer of aluminum oxide that protects the metal underneath from further corrosion. Chromium does something similar, which is why stainless steel, a mix of iron and chromium, can stay shiny for years without rusting. This self-protecting mechanism is nature's way of allowing some reactive metals to remain functional and attractive over time. However, these protective layers can still be scratched or broken down in extreme conditions. That's why passivated metals aren't as eternally shiny as noble metals, but they still offer impressive durability and resilience. Think of stainless steel kitchen appliances or car trims. They maintain their shine well, thanks to this protective chemistry. So, why do some metals stay shiny forever? It all comes down to chemistry and structure. Whether naturally noble or cleverly passivated, these metals showcase the incredible ways in which the elements of the periodic table interact with the world around them. So the next time you catch a gleam from a coin, a ring, or even a decorative sculpture, take a moment to appreciate not just its sparkle, but the science behind its enduring glow. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.